guys, girls, whoever's watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed that little morning or the little montage of me watching Evo. We're always pulling up to cars and coffee with like the most crusty Evo ever. And honestly, the car needs a lot. It needs like PDR. It needs a good detail. It needs wheels that aren't plastic dipped and freaking the plastic dips like literally peeling off. Sorry, I'm making faces. I'm staring straight into the sun and it's freaking early. I need to get some coffee. Oop. In 2023, we're still drinking the drink, guys. Iced coffee. Normally, I do vanilla in half and half. This is just classic, which is like just sugar water, basically. I'm stoked, guys. It feels like the old days where we just used to drive around, all-wheel drive, turbo, Japanese cars, sipping on coffee. I know what you guys are thinking. Starbucks coffee is not that great. I agree with you, but it's just convenient and consistent, and so that's what we end up getting. This morning we're rolling out to Songke Blue SoCal. I think that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry guys. They host like one of the best cars and coffees. Like, I think it's like once a month by my local area. It's in Walnut. By now my girl should have finished feeding the cats and we're gonna go pick her up right now. If you guys are watching this and going through a tough time or this week or day just hasn't been your day or week, I hope this video helps take your mind off that, see some cool cars, get some laughs out of it. Let's go have a good time. Guys, we just got to the meet, and there's already a lot of cars per usual. You guys probably can't really tell, there's a lot of cars here. We always park far, that way when it's time to leave, it doesn't take us 20 minutes to wait for people. Yeah. I got my lady. She was trying to yell at me on how to film the video. Because you ask for my help and then you get mad at me when <laughs> I do my job. Yo, this Acura is crazy, guys. Look at that fitment. Got another Evo buddy here. I never knew they made the Celica in a drop top. This is crazy. Look at this thing. This thing is pretty mint, guys. What the hell? I love the squared lights in the front. Kind of reminds me of a Starion. The color on the MR2 is sick. Got more people rolling in. This is probably the wildest Scion XB I've ever seen in my life. It's got like tassels inside. You see that? That's crazy. Oh yeah, you're right. It's got a wood dash. <laughs> this thing is wild. It's got the solid wheels. <laughs> so I guess Tony Hawk's kid used to own this. I know it was a previous SEMA car. It was a collaboration with Scion and Someone needs to elaborate on this on the internet. Someone give me more information, please. <laughs> it was done a promotional video. That's cool. E92s are growing on me, guys. Look at this thing. I think this is a Molda Red. V8 M3 that revs to 8 grand would be sick. This Corolla's fitment is insane, guys. Look at the rear. Dude, he's, he's freaking tucking. Crazy. Oh yeah, pretty minty RX-7 2 FC. Damn, this thing's clean. One day we'll have a rotary, but the thing is guys, whoever we move to can't have an HOA because if you have a rotary with the bop, 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 you're gonna get kicked out, there's no way. Get evicted. Take a fruit then. I don't know, you tell me, you're the expert. It's 
crazy how many more modified Teslas are starting to come up, guys. Battery power. Two of my favorites, side by side. Mark V, and then IS300 with the front mount. I don't know if it's a NAT or 1J or actual 2J, that'd be sick. My man really went all out on the Ford Focus. This thing is crazy, what the hell? Sheesh. I kinda like the clear lights. The clear lights actually cool. I always enjoy a clean Honda Bay. Check this out. I dig it. So much room for activities. This old Mustang sick. This is the craziest oh, Forester cool. I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's right hand drive. Mm -hmm. Also, you see it? Yeah. I love the color. It's like Laguna Seca blue. Forester XT. Mm -hmm. Fitment's good. It's got bright seats in it. It's right hand drive. This is insane. Auto. Yeah, this thing is wild. I like it. God, RB sounds so good. RB squad has arrived. I just want to hear that dude reverse because RB sounds so good. <laughs> Got the two rivals one space away. This Millennium J Dotson is insane, guys. Video's not going to do justice. Good fitment. So speaking of S2000s or Miatas, I told Alexis a long time ago that I wanted to get a Mazda Speed Miata because if you guys know, they only made a turbo Miata for two years in America. And seeing these little mint NA guys makes me kind of want a small little roadster. But Alexis said no. I think the Hondas are better. Yeah, you like the S2000 more? Yeah. This might be the first monolock Supra I've ever seen, unless it's a cap. I don't know if it's a cap or not. It's more than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. This thing is sick. The old Subarus go hard. I love a chalk Porsche. Yellow brakes, very nice. put TEs on his GR. This is my kind of guy right here. You guys probably can't really tell on video, but the fitment on this thing is great. I smell E85. You smell that? There's E85 somewhere. Damn, the fitment on this thing is crazy, guys. Sick. NSX interior is on fleek. Black on bronze is a great combination. Damn, this is sick. Alexis is going crazy about this big bird right here. <laughs> Something you definitely don't see every day. An Evo wagon. And the paint, I don't know if it's just wrapped or painted, but it's crazy looking. Yeah, the paint is way nice. This thing is wild. My man stunned with the wagon. And then we got another, I don't even know what this is. Someone told me what this is. Right hand drive. Is this a rally or what? What is this? Someone educate me, please. The lineup of cars I've never seen in my life. <laughs> Damn, I love this color. The new the new Porsches are insane. They're all the R33s I pulled up earlier. Oh man's front camera is insane. This one sounds the best. RVs are just one of the best sounding engines ever. Don't at me. I love Jay-Z's, but RVs have the best sound. Damn. White, silver, we got them all. Two of Honda's best side by side. 
Which one are you guys taking? Alexis is the official Evo 8 and 9 spotter. I can tell the difference now. Well, from, from the 10, from the 10s, I can't actually. I'm like, I can't tell the difference between a 10 and a Lancer. Uh, they right. look the same. So this thing caught my attention from earlier when he first pulled in. I don't know what it is, but I like it. He's got some kind of historic plate. There's the Evo 9 over there with the Tomei. Sounds so good. I can't wait to have a Tomei again. This thing is wild. I love the color. Looks like it'd be an original, original color. Period correct. I dig it. Look at that, guys. Twenty-five thousand dollar Toyota or twenty-five thirty thousand dollar Honda S two thousand. I like the NSX too. Mm -hmm. I would love to have an NSX in the fleet someday if we stumbled upon some money. Yeah. I think that'd be a must. What'd you say, better than what? Better than another Evo. <laughs> now we're gonna get Evo number five and six. No, please. Just to keep the ball rolling. Please, no. I'm kidding, no, I would not. Lorenzo, if you're watching this, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It is getting very hot. <laughs> so it's time to run the AC. Huge shout out to Sonke Blue SoCal for hosting a good meet, as always. But unfortunately, guys, this is where I have to be an adult when we have to run errands. And Alexis gets to stress me out at Target. She's laughing because she knows it's true. And it has begun. Alrighty guys. I have been uploading videos like crazy lately and that video I filmed of when I went to Subi Fest and the Porsches and Hondas meet absolutely drained me. I'll never do the two videos in one day ever again unless like unless by some miracle I'm making buku money off of YouTube which I don't know if that'll ever happen. I'll never film two videos like that again. Guys if you've made it to this point in the video thank you guys so much. You guys are all real ones. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I never thought that I would keep filming YouTube videos up to this point because there was a point in time, and I still go through this like from time to time, the reason why I'm referencing this is because I just finished watching a video of someone talking about it, where I literally hated YouTube, where, you know, when I first started filming videos, all I used to do was just drive around and film everything I wanted, my friends' cars, hanging out with friends, going to car meets, I was moving, like switching houses and filming the process. And all I did was film everything I wanted and show you guys whatever I wanted. Whether it was like a coffee shop, going to a boba place, going to hang out with a friend, uh, going through college at the time, traveling to Washington to see my aunt. There was a point when I started actually like making a little bit of money off of YouTube a long time ago where I literally started to absolutely hate it. Like I'm going to be honest with you guys, from the moment I bought my Evo 9, my first Evo 9 in 2017, I believe it was November, something around that that point forward I literally hated YouTube with a passion like where it became a job and never felt fun I felt like I was doing things for views not because I actually wanted to actually film them and you know as you guys know over the years I, I had like a rough experience with like people in the industry in the sense of like being misled or had the wrong expectations set I'm not gonna go too deep into that but um, what I'm saying is that to get back to a place in filming videos where I want to film and just how I want to film them and stuff it was great like I'm actually starting to have fun with YouTube again and I think it shows like going to these car meets and showing you guys cool cars and you know eventually we're gonna get to building this car soon I just gotta pay back a little bit of money to my boy Lorenzo who helped but basically make the buying my Evo 9 back possible in case you guys are wondering uh, but that shouldn't take too too long and then we can finally dive into the car with my boy Sam And it's great, you know like I guys I freaking love sharing videos and I love creating videos I don't do this for money. I don't do this for clout or any of that stuff I genuinely just like filming videos and I've always loved filming YouTube videos I literally had my first YouTube channel when I was in fifth grade, which is crazy I did the first walkthrough of like Resident Evil 4 back in the day when that was a thing and I know I'm babbling in this video is super long at this point, but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Just know that there's a lot more banger videos coming to you guys' way. We're going to have more gym content soon, uh, more car content soon. And, you know, if you guys have been subscribed for the ride for all these years, just know it means a lot. You guys are all real ones. 
And the most important thing for me making videos is to share experiences and to connect to the common person because I'm just like you guys. If you work full time, if you go to school full time, maybe you're doing both. Maybe you're going through a crazy breakup. Maybe you suffered a loss in your family. Just know I feel for you. I 100% know a lot of the big YouTubers you guys watch have no soul. Like there's just nothing there. All they do is just create, 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 but they're not really human beings, you know, and and my goal is to always just touch the common person and relate to the common person regardless of how much money or money I don't make from this. So just keep that in mind. And anyway, guys, I hope you guys all have a great day, a great week. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Comment down your favorite car you saw in the video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.